Hi, I'm Christian from North Star IT. And this week, I've got some inspiration from somebody else's help desk. I was talking to a colleague at another IT company. Apparently, he's a bit of a fan of these videos. And he said, Christian, I've got one for you. You've got to make a video on this. So he'd had a call from one of his clients who's recently returned to the office and clearly struggling with some of their once familiar office equipment. The person in question had gone to go and do some printing from their desktop computer and then found an error, an error, an error, an error. And the printer wasn't working. Quickly, they went to the printer and realized it was out of paper. Loaded it up, went back to the computer and it still wouldn't print. Tried again, no. The screen on the printer said no paper. So the client rang my colleague to say <laughs> that their printer wasn't working. Could he help please? He tried numerous diagnostics, remote access, everything seemed to check out. It did indeed say no paper. So he said, I've got no choice, I'll have to come to site. So he jumped in his little car, drives to site to go and examine the printer in question. And while standing at the printer, immediately, quite often the solution springs up in front of us. In this case, his customer had actually put the paper oh. in a storage tray, not in a paper tray. Now to most people, it would look exactly the same. However, I've got a little tip for you. So when loading up the paper, if you can see guide rails that you can push in this way and probably that way as well, that usually will mean you're putting it in the right place to be picked up. However, if it looks like you can literally just throw it into a drawer, or maybe there's a bit of space to one side, especially if you've got a larger printer like an A3 machine or larger, and there seems to be no guide rails to put that paper in place to hold it nice and neat, you're probably putting it in the wrong place to be able to print. So, if you're experiencing a problem like this, maybe take a tea break or a cup of coffee, a bit of fresh air, because nothing can beat a fresh pair of eyes when looking at a problem. Believe me, it works for us, it can work for you. Until next time.